Welcome to Flash from Scratch, Tutorial 25, Draw or Trace. I have a new FLA opened. Going up to File, I'm going to import to my stage, which also puts it in my library. It can prepare itself to do that. A image. Here it is, just a picture of a driveway and if you wanted to use this for the background of a drawing for example now you could use this as it is but it's a picture it's not a drawing and flash gives you a tool to make it look as if it was drawn so make sure it's selected see this little blue line if not hot if not right click select all up here under modify we've been here before bitmap trace bitmap it's really not tracing it what it's going to do is combine colors the default setting when you probably pulled it up would be this it means that flash is going to look for a hundred similar colors in an area of eight by eight pixels and when it does that it's going to combine them and redraw this so here it goes it's redrawing it and there's what it comes comes up with. That's quite crude, and that's quite quite a lot of change. You may not want that, but you, that's what you may, you may want that. Control Z. I'm taking it back to where it was. This time I'm going to change the settings. Bitmap, trace bitmap, and I'm going to half them. I'm going to look for 50 similar colors in half the area. So this is going to take up much more memory space, but it will look more like the original and if I click off to the side there it is so you could play around with this and that's one simple tool that you have for making a a background or bring in an image in that's a photo and if you want to bring a picture of yourself in and adjust it like this you could bring yourself and put yourself in a in a cartoon or something so let's close this off I don't want to save it no and let's open a new FLA This time I'm going to bring in another image. This is one I made for a previous tutorial. If you look, it's a bitmap. It's called B. If you did other tutorials, you may have seen this with me. And one thing we pointed out earlier is a problem with, with bitmaps is if you make them larger, they distort. See, that, see all that distortion? If it was a vector, it wouldn't. But anyway, Let's say we want to draw that B. I'm going to make it bigger. You could lock this layer. Pick up your, start with your oval tool. Pick up your oval tool. And I want black for my, for my stroke. And I want yellow for my, and you can actually click over here to pick up the same yellow. And you could, off to the side, my oval tool, draw, oops, need a new layer. And you could draw your B. You can make an oval. Then you can make a head. Then you could try to select just the head. Bring it close to there. Just showing you right quick. Pick up your pencil tool. Start drawing the antennas. Okay, you could do it this way. Based on what you see there. Then what you have is a problem. Should I want to just move the head? And then I might pick up that, see? And then you gotta start that nonsense. So the first thing I recommend is if you're going to draw any drawings, put everything on a different layer, as many layers as you can. So you could see we could draw this B come pretty close to what he looks like. Let's delete that for a minute. This is the B layer. I'm going to call it B. And let's draw it. So let's call this the body. And let's actually trace it because it's locked I can't move it so now pick up your oval tool and make an oval here and using your arrow keys pick up your selection tool highlight it now move it up and you can say well I can't see too well if you click right here you'll see inside of it see that so now you can get that right on there and you can lock that layer that would be your body 
insert another layer, call his is head. The head of this little bee. Again, pick up your oval tool, everything's the same. Whoops, oval tool, make a circle, hold the shift down. That's a bit big, so if I use my free transform tool, you see I can go really quickly. The only thing I'm going to do is select that if I have it on its own layer. Okay. He's still a mite big, so I'm just holding my shift down, making it just a little bit smaller. And there I'm going with that for my for my head. Then I'm going to put these stripes in. I'm not going to do the whole thing. S T R I P E S stripes. I'm even going to make this bigger 800 so I can really see what I'm doing here. I'll pick up my straight line tool, make a line here. I'm going to turn off the B so I can't see the B. I'm going to pick up my selection tool and I'm going to bend it like that. Right click, copy it, paste it in place, and using my arrow keys, there, I made it wider. Okay, now I'm going to select the whole thing, right click, copy it, paste it in place and using my arrow keys, move that over. So now I have that much of my B made. There he is. There's my B, getting there to look like a B. There's the one that's underneath. Okay, let's go back to about 100%, 200%. Let's lock this layer and let's put his feet and antennas together. F E E T and A N T antennas what a word. And we want a pencil tool for that. We're just going to draw his antenna in there like that with a ball one, two, and we're going to draw his feet. Now if you do all this all in one motion, you'll be able to use a fill bucket to fill it. And I wouldn't be too fussy because by the time it's all together, it really, you really can see the minor, the minor mistakes. Let's pick up different color for his bill. Let's give him some bright feet. There, he's got some bright feet on the sky. Okay, so we got some problem with that. So I'm going to hide all the layers except the foot layer. And I can see that that little foot layer is not closed when I made it. Can you see that? Pick up my selection tool. Just click this and bring it down. Now I should be able to fill it. Nope, it's not down far enough. There. Now I should be able to fill that. There. Bring everything back so I can see it. He's getting there. Uh, the head, I want to see through the head so I can pick up his eyeballs. So I'm just going to make a blue eye eye. Pick up my oval tool lock all the layers and make a layer called eyes and let's put a little eyeball in here there's a blue eyeball and then I want no fill to make the gist of his eyeball there he is hide the one in behind let's see what he looks like for a minute hide the bee looking good there he is, and we want to give him a little smile. He's a happy bee. Okay, last thing we want is his wings. And again, I suggest one layer for his wings. Now there's a lot of um, clip art that's free, and you can use that and copy it or just come close to copying it. I think that would be it's offered as free. Pick up your pencil tool and you gotta do the whole thing otherwise it's not gonna work. So you want to draw it like that, up like that, and around and down. That's one wing. And if I'm going to do the other wing, I gotta start here, come over, come up. Now I might get away with just touching this one. I might not have to do a lot. Okay, let's pick up a, a grayish color. That's what he has here. 
fill bucket. I'm going to give him a brighter color for these wings. Let's make this guy look colorful. There. Now if I lock all the layers, turn off the B layer so you can't see the B at all. There's my B. And this here is off. So let's, where's that? That's his, his feet. Unlock the feet layer. Pick up your selection tool and grab this corner and bring him up like that. There we go. We can now delete this B layer all together. Delete it. And there we have a B. Now, a suggestion. I suggest you take and save this as a B. Save it as B pieces so that if you ever want to come back and modify this B again, just save as. And I'm going to put it here and I'm going to say B pieces, P-I-E-C-E-S. So I have a whole bunch of pieces of B's there now. But also, if you just want that B to be by itself as a B, guess what you do? Unlock all the layers. Make sure they're all unlocked. Come up here. Either do this or right click, select all. Come in, copy it. Lock all the layers. Select the highest layer. Insert a layer and call it B. B E E. Turn off all the other layers except the B layer. Now we've copied it. Get on that layer. Right click. Paste in place. And there we have our B on this layer only. Lock it and delete all the other layers. Delete the eyes. Delete the feet. See they're all deleting them all. Delete. And if we want them we have them on that other file. And there's our B. One thing here I think we could straighten out. If we unlock it, pick up my selection tool, I can see how I get that arch. I can sort of put some better shape to those that wing. Give it a little more of, a, of an arch instead of flat like that. Pull this down in here. Now, if we just closed it, it would save it as B pieces, and we lose all those pieces that we made individually. So this time let's save as, and this is going to the same place, but I'm just going to call it B. And there it is. I want to show you a lot, one last thing. Lock that B layer, insert a layer, drag it down under the B, insert another layer, lock them except this bottom layer call it the sky s k y call it the sky and we're not going to be very fussy here just going to show you something make it 25 percent and i'm just going to quickly make a rectangular sky don't just to show you something there's the sky locking that one call this one grass g r a s s And unlocking it and I want to pick up a quick green and make a grass area and if we look at that and take our B and just put him here for a minute that's a really nice little picture if we would have I got the same color wings they're transparent if we would have imported let's do it import to the stage that original B actually I still have it in here if we would use this see the problem we would have it would have this box around it and unless your import was a PNG and sometimes they're not easy to come up with this is going to be a problem for you but of course you could take that and try to to fill it to fill it in here but that would be really 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 difficult okay so this is another reason to use your own own drawings the last thing is I'm going to delete this layer here oops delete the layer delete the layer delete the layer remember when we took at the very beginning this image and made it larger 
is a JPEG and it distorted, well look, we can make this as large as we want. And it doesn't give those funny, funny distortions. We can see some of our ears easier, but we don't get that fuzzy distortion that we got when we had that JPEG. I'll just bring that in and show you again. So I take that JPEG and bring it in and see it. Big difference. Now you don't need to save this. I wouldn't bother saving this. Okay. I hope you learned some tips from this drawing tutorial and I hope you use what you learn.